It is with great pleasure and excitement that I extend a warm welcome to each of you gathered here at this Story Map and Smart Tourism Project on behalf of the Ministry of Tourism, Investment and Creative Industries. Today's gathering represents a convergence of mind, ideas and aspirations, which is a testimony to the spirit of collaboration. The significance of this initiative cannot be overstated. At its core, it represents a bold step forward in our ongoing efforts to celebrate and safeguard the heritage that defines us as St. Lucians. By using the power of technology, we have the opportunity to unlock new dimensions of cultural exploration and understanding. Through interactive experiences and multimedia content, visitors will not only discover the beauty of our island, but also gain a deeper appreciation for our traditions and the tourism products overall. Through this initiative, we have the opportunity to stimulate local businesses, create job opportunities, and support the livelihoods of our fellow St. Lucians. In essence, this initiative signifies the spirit of innovation, collaboration, and preservation of our culture. As we embark and launch this initiative, let us remember the profound significance of our, impact, of our mission and the impact it can have on our visitors, and by extension, St. Lucia. Thank you everyone for being part of this journey, and welcome once again. Thank you. At this time, folks, uh, I'm sure all of us would like to know exactly what this project entails and what it is all about. So we are going to have a project briefing. We'd like to call to the podium the project manager of the TTM, the Taiwan Technical Mission, Mr. Louis Su, to give us some insight on what the project entails. Mr. Su. First of all, um, I'm pleased to present to you an initiative that promised to transform the tourism landscape of Castri and um, Sufre in St. Lucia, that we call Smart Tourism and um, story Met pilot project. By definition, smart tourism integrates technology to enhance the overall to, uh, visitors' experiences, making it more interactive, informative, and uh, engaging. Our project aims to achieve by leveraging smart tourism solution and creating an interactive story map that will immerse the visitor in rich culture in those two beautiful cities. In collaboration with Taiwan Technical Commission in St. Lucia and uh, St. Lucia 360, along with strong support from our key important stakeholders such as Ministry of Tourism, St. Lucia and Tourism Authority, Castri and Sufre, um, um, City Council, National Trust, Sufre Regional Development Foundation, and we still have a number of private sector partners. And to, as a tourism guy myself, I'm excited to share that while this pilot project is still in its final stage, we are rapidly approaching the completion. As we enter the last milestone, we can anticipate that soon that people will be able to utilize the resource for various purposes to enrich the understanding and experience of forecastry and sufre in dif different ways. So this project is not just about creating tourism and experience, it's ab about pioneering innovation and collaboration. As a pilot project, our effort here have the potential to serve a blueprint for future endeavor in smart tourism to showcase the possibility and impact to integrate technology with cultural site. So in the sites, you will be able to see a lot of components. So for example, QR codes, brochure, audio guides, video guide, etc. So before I hand to Mr. Raoul, our contractor, to give you some more explanation, I would like to thank again all the important stakeholders that we have been, who have been very supportive, especially the Ministry of Tourism and the Tourism Authority to ensure this project and journey together toward a smarter, more connected force for tourism in St. Lucia. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Su, the project manager of the Taiwan Technical Mission. And of course, he mentioned just a while ago that we have the tech guy, the one who can let you know all what is happening with the project. Uh, now we'd like to call on the owner and proprietor of St. Lucia 360, Mr. Ronald Raoul, to give us a breakdown. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Raoul. 
Um, the Ministry of Tourism and the Taiwan Technical Mission collaborated on the Smart Map and Historical Project with the aim of leveraging technology to showcase Fair Helen's rich history to both the citizens of and visitors to St. Lucia. It is an honor and a privilege to have been involved in this project. Um, the interaction and ongoing consultation with the multiple stakeholders highlighted a common goal, the exposing of St. Lucia's extensive historical past, but in a sustainable way. This was constantly brought to the fore by the St. Lucia National Trust. Testament to this are the ongoing discussions even as we speak. The project will, today will feature the medium through which interactive content will be available at the various sites and locations. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, our island is a treasure trove of, of history and projects like this underscores its value and relevance. At this juncture, as we are about to, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the Taiwan Technical Mission, the Permanent Secretary and her team at the Ministry of Tourism, the St. Lucia National Trust, the Mayor of Castries, the Mayor of Sufre, Ms. Joan Hippolyte of the Sufre Development Foundation, and all other stakeholders. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. I'm glad to attend the launching ceremony of Story Map and Smart Tourism Project today. This project hopes to invite travelers from far and wide to experience the beauty and charm that St. Lucia offers. It derives from the community-based story collection workshop held by Ministry of Tourism and Taiwan Technical Mission last year, which training participants to use story collection telling skills and techniques to explore the community, master the narrative, and to build up community's capacity to strive its economy. And this year, these stories will be embedded into a smart map. Whenever tourists scan the QR code on the map or on the plaque in Castries and Souffre, they are able to explore the fascinating history and stories hidden behind the buildings or statues. This map is more than just a collection of locations. It's an invitation to all who seek to explore the wonders of St. Lucian local community. And this map is also a testament to the collaborative efforts of individuals, businesses, and organizations who have come together to promote tourism. For Ministry of Tourism, and Castry City Council, to National Trust and Sufre Foundation. Just to name a few, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to all who have contributed to the creation of this guide map. I would especially like to comment on Honorable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Tourism, Dr. Ernest Hillier, and also Honorable Minister Richard Frederick and Honorable Gibbon Ferdinand for their support to all the projects between Taiwan and St. Lucia, so that these projects can run successfully and reveal tangible results. The government of the Republic of China, Taiwan, will continue to work with government of St. Lucia in its trust to invite the world to experience the magic of St. Lucia and build capacity in crucial sectors of St. Lucia economy and industry. Thank you. Welcome to Castry Central, the best constituency in St. Lucia. And it's not a laughing matter, Gideon. <laughs> you know, folks, every time I deliver, I have the opportunity of delivering a brief remarks in relation to the Taiwanese. That brevity invariably elongates itself. Because when I recall what the Taiwanese have done for this country, the collaboration the Taiwanese have had with the government of St. Lucia, that redound to the people of this country, that redound to the people of each and every constituency, I don't think asking to give them another round of applause is asking too much. Mr. Ambassador, thank you very, very much. Today, we are launching 
a smart tourism project, again in collaboration with the Taiwanese. About three weeks ago, I had the opportunity of attending a ceremony in Labrie, where an ICT center was launched, again in collaboration with the Taiwanese, who undoubtedly are extremely heavy in so far as technological advancements are concerned. I am indeed pleased at this project, Mr. Ambassador. And I envisage the day when, like Dubai, you could walk into any corner and find your map, find your way around because of the smart city that Dubai has become. We know that visitors now are more savvy, no longer people, people book even taxi online, hotels online, and so they do all their research even before they land on this 238 square mile rock. One of the slight deficiencies, Mr. Ambassador, and others involved, Ministry of Tourism, is that when I look at the eight locations in Castries, I realize that the wharf, the port, is devoid of a location where a smart device will be placed. My view is that as soon as our visitors disembark from the cruise ships, that should be the first port of call. Because gone are the days when taxi drivers have to be waving what is supposedly a map, I'll take you here, I'll take you there. Let the visitors on their own volition recognize, have a personal reflection, a face-to-face -face reflection of that place that they want to go. And so in further deliberations, it is my earnest exhortation that we place at least two ports, two smart device ports right there on the wharf so our visitors can first hand, it will make obsolete the need for taxi drivers to be waving, that's the waterfalls here, or that's Sufre, or that's the volcanoes. The visitors would be in a position to do that for themselves. Of course, our people cannot be left out and with technology, we all know that there is a need for advancement in your ability, not only to, to speak or to converse, but to interact, you know, or to interact rather. You have to be in a position to interact with those devices so that the advice you are giving the visitors would be sound. Um, taxi drivers, vendors, other persons, entrepreneurs, they have to ensure that they acquaint themselves with the use of those devices so they too are not left behind. Mr. Ambassador, I don't want to say too much. You have done a lot, but one of the things you need to do for Castries, and I'm asking you publicly because I do know the best way a politician asks for something is when they ask for it publicly, so you can't say no. Mr. Ambassador, we need to undertake a project renaming the streets of Castries. If you walk through the city, you will see a sign far and, you know, far and wide. You will not see the signs conspicuously placed along the streets. It will not take much money in the scheme of things. And I'm sure St. Lucia Tourism Authority, they might decide, look, they will, they will give us a little something, but I want you to spare this program, Mr. Ambassador. And I see a shake of the head. Is this a yes? So, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving in the right direction. I am extremely proud of this project. We are going way beyond what was expected of us, and we are moving at a pace that is extremely rapid. I ask persons who are not technologically savvy to ensure that they are not left behind. Learn how to use this thing, learn how to interact with it, learn how to do what you have to do to ensure that when the tourists come here, we take every penny that St. Lucia deserves. But Mr. Ambassador, before leaving, I, 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 I am imploring, I am asking, I'm literally begging for a renaming of the streets so that our visitors who may not, who may line up to use the device, may walk down and see conspicuously placed signs all along the streets of Castries Central. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you.
It is with great pleasure and excitement that I stand before you today to unveil an innovative initiative poised to revolutionize the tourism landscape of St. Lucia. On behalf of the Minister of Tourism, it is my honor to introduce the groundbreaking project born from a collaboration and innovation, the Smart Tourism Initiative. The Ministry of Tourism, in partnership with the Taiwanese Technical Mission, have embarked on a journey to enrich the very essence of tourism by seamlessly merging technology with our rich cultural heritage. This project, which is a pilot project, represents our commitment to constantly elevating the visitor experience while preserving our cultural legacy for generations to come. Today, I am delighted to have the opportunity to present to you the remarkable journey and achievements of our project where each element has contributed to the creation of an enriching, authentic experience for both locals and tourists alike. Two sets of physical and virtual maps for Castries and Soufre were meticulously developed, featuring a total of 18 selected sites, including landmarks like the, the, all, the monument, uh, the Sulphur Springs, and the Castries Market. And that monument is the all-in monument that we have at the front of the, the, the waterfront there. Through the site selection process, a minimum of eight culturally, religiously, and educationally significant sites were identified in each district. From historical landmarks to scarce spaces, these locations offer a holistic representation of St. Lucia's rich cultural heritage. The essence and historical context of each selected site was captured using professional media documentation and has been featured in our Smart Tourism Solution, offering visitors a deeper understanding of these tourist assets. We've established interactive signage by installing audio QR code signs paired with on-site plaques and selected, at selected sites. These features provide audio guided narratives, enhancing the visitor experience and bringing our heritage to life. Additionally, we've ensured seamless integration of audio QR codes and in information on the sites into a virtual tour platform that allows visitors to access multimedia content directly from the maps. Using this approach, we have been able to highlight iconic sites like the Sir John Compton Monument, right behind me, right in front of you, the majestic Sulphur Springs that have been carefully curated to offer a journey through time and tradition. This Smart Tourism Initiative is a visionary endeavor aimed at offering both locals and visitors alike a dynamic exploration of our island's cultural, religious, and educational significance. But what sets this apart is the fusion of technology and storytelling and a marriage of physical and virtual maps, professionally, professional photography, videography, and interactive signage. Imagine delving into an historic context of each site and immersing yourself in the stories and significance with just a scan of a smartphone. This really demonstrates the power of smart tourism. But there are more important objectives that transcend the, th the thrill of discovery. The anticipated impact of this initiative is profound. Firstly, an enriched tourism experience awaits both visitors and locals alike. They'll embark on an, Im an immersive tour of culturally significant sites while engaging in a deeper connection to their destination. With the audio QR code signs and virtual tour platforms, Visitors can conveniently access multimedia content directly from their smartphones, enriching the exploration of our cultural sites. Secondly, the initiative contributes to the preservation of St. Lucia's cultural heritage, religious and educational heritage for future generations 
to appreciate and to learn from. It is important to note, ladies and gentlemen, that the Smart Tourism Initiative is also expected to attract more visitors, leading to increased tourism revenue and contributing to the growth and sustainability of the local economy. Through this program, we hope to enhance guest experiences while stimulating advancing education, education and awareness of St. Lucia's rich cultural diversity. In closing, I extend my deepest gratitude to all who have contributed to this remarkable endeavor, from our partners at the Taiwanese Technical Mission, to the dedicated team at the Ministry of Tourism, who have brought this vision to life. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you again for your attendance and your participation. Everybody will have the opportunity to go and take a selfie next to the plaque. Worry not. <laughs>